Okay, so I think with Ms. Marble, we have to talk about the fact that mutants have been introduced into the mainline storyline for the MCU for the first time. And this is exciting, especially leading into San Diego Comic-Con next week. I think we're definitely getting a ton of more information when we get to that point. But I think that this is definitely something that many of us were hoping to see. And now that we finally see it, are super excited for it. So let's get right into what this means and what exactly this is going to happen with now in the future. So before we get into all of that, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. We are on the road to 25,000 subscribers and we just hit 22,000 over the weekend. Can we get to 25,000 before the end of the month? I think we can, so let's try and get to that. But let's talk about Miss Marvel and the mutants. So at the end of the episode, which was the finale, we discovered that Miss Marvel is basically having a different set of genes than anybody else in her family, and that is a mutation of sorts, they put it. And just as they say mutation, we hear it, we all knew it, we got excited. The X-Men 97 theme song starts playing and we're just left with our jaws on the floor. And then we get that explosive post credit scene that was just beautiful on top of everything. But now we have the marbles and we have mutants. So let's get into what exactly the producer of the show said about this. So producer Visha K, Ali said that they pretty much were like, oh my god, best day of my life whenever they heard about this. About mutants being first introduced into the MCU mainline story. They also went on to say that this wasn't a plan from the beginning and when it comes to Marvel Studios, something's always a moving piece. It wasn't from the beginning of the show with Marvel, something's always a moving piece and we're trying to solve this question of, if any of Kamala's family put the bangle on, would they have powers? The answer was always no. From a character perspective, no. They said, I feel so excited as the viewer of my show that Bishop teen fangirl me is like, I can't believe it. One more bit of the dream. And the fact that it's Kamala, it's her. It's like her wildest dream already come true over the show, gaining powers. But then we just gave her one more bit of the dream. It's incredible. I'm overjoyed. So Iman Vellani, who plays Kamala, was pretty much excited about this and freaked out and Kevin Feige about this. So this is what she said. They sent me and only me the draft of the final episode and I immediately freaked out. I emailed Kevin Feige in all caps and I was like, are you doing this like for real? Are you sure? I'm honored. I was yelling at him through an email. I was freaking out. This is the biggest deal in the world and the fact that it's happening in our show is crazy. So it's definitely um, exciting and amazing to hear that they are including the mutants now in Miss Marvel and the main main and the mainline MCU. Um, the question is, however, what exactly like where does this X gene come from? So the big question is going to be where does the X gene come from? Is it from her father's side? Is it like what is the whole deal here? Because it's not from the mother's side as we know that we've heard already. And so this pretty much asks the question, does the Kree pretty much create the mutants here in the mainline MCU? Or like they're changing it because the Kree we were supposed to hear about in humans and all of that as we know the Inhumans was a project that Marvel started that the humans are already introduced into the mainline MCU storyline. Um back in the show and also in Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness. So I could definitely see that the MCU might shift things around and I'd be cool with that. I think if they can make it work, they can make it work and we'll definitely be excited for that. Another question to ask is, does then this mean that we will definitely see mutants explored in the Marvel show next year, the Marvels? Um, some people are claiming that we will see Namor be introduced as a mutant in Wakanda Forever this year and maybe get some more introduction to them as well before we get really into the Fantastic Four movie that is supposed to be coming out pretty soon as well. Which, by the way, Penn Badgley as Mr. Fantastic. What do you think about that? Let me know. Um, but I'm definitely excited about this. This introduction was huge. I did not expect it. I was expecting just the Brie Larson cameo at the end of Miss Marvel, and we got a lot more than that. So this is definitely something much more exciting and definitely something that really adds a lot of weight to this show and the impact it's going to have on the MCU for years to come. So let me know your thoughts and your opinions on it down below. Are you excited or not? What do you think about the fact that Miss Marvel might be a mutant now? I think this is definitely going to really give us a lot more for the future. So super excited for that. If you haven't already checked out my post credit scene explained for Miss Marvel, um, the previous episode, the finale, go check it out. I talk more about the Marvels and what we can actually see from that. 
uh, movie that is going to come to us next year from Nia Acosta, which she did an amazing job on Candyman. So I'm excited to see what she's going to do here. So definitely excited all around for the future of the MCU. Next week is San Diego Comic-Con where we're definitely going to get a lot more information about the next phase. I think we're going to hear about X-Men and all of that as well as Fantastic Four. I think that's when we're going to get the casting announced or definitely D23 later in September. But this is the year I think that we'll definitely get all of our answers answered about what is going to happen with the X-Men. Where do they go from here? Because I think Miss Marvel just unpacked a can of worms and I'm excited to see where we go. Anyways, as always, that's going to do it for me. If you haven't already checked out any of my other videos, I talk about TV shows, movies, music, video games, all the stuff you love. So don't miss out on any of that. You can follow us on our website, cultureelixir.com. Also Twitter, TikTok as well, the same username. And yeah, I'll leave it all in the page here. But yeah, let me know what you would love to hear at San Diego Comic Con regarding the X-Men. Do you want a movie? To be announced what do you think of just x97 being announced only but i really think that we are looking for something more of in the live action we want to hear about an x-men appearing somewhere down the line or an x-men movie already being planned that's exactly what we need to hear especially with uh, feige really trying to put together this next phase and really give us more concrete answers about it i think that that's the best way for him to handle this is to give us some more concrete answers about everything and all we need to know about it so let me know what you want to hear i want to hear about a movie i want to see somebody be cast as something imagine if they announced who was playing wolverine that would be insane right but let me know what you want and check out the videos on the left if you haven't already but that's going to do it for me as always we are on the road to 25,000 subscribers we are so close to that can we get there before the end of the month i think we can uh, check out my other videos i have today on orphan first kill as well as nope and and it's going to do it for me. I'll see all of you next time. Stay safe. Stay positive. If you're still listening, really appreciate you still keeping up with the video, making sure you are subscribed also so you never miss out on any of our videos by hitting that notification bell as well. As I said, we are doing a giveaway at 25000 so you don't want to miss out on any of that, so make sure that you are subscribed and hitting that notification bell. But as always, check out our all of our other videos, and yeah, I'll see all of you next time. Stay safe, stay positive.